Yes, finally. Simon. Hi, Ricky, how are you doing? I'm all right. All right, buddy. Good Thank to meet you, mate. for coming down, man. No problem. In this beauty. <laughs> Thank you. Glad you like it. Yeah, man. Toyota a Supra. Twin yeah. turbo? Or is it single? It's a single turbo now. So it started off life as um, a twin turbo automatic. Yeah. Um, I bought the car five years ago as a bare shell. Um, basically built it up with parts. Uh, I've got you know, some spares, and um, and this is where it is today. Standard there, three litre straight six. Uh, it's the 2JZ engine, as most people probably know. What's the power output? Uh, the, the standard engine comes out at around 300 horsepower from the yeah. factory. Um, I've now got this one to just over 700, so it was dynoed at 720. 700 horsepower, wow. Rear wheel driven as well? Yeah, uh, all rear wheel drive. Although yeah. pe some people do ask me if it's four wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, just bloody hell. The kind of grip that it's, uh, the car's got. I've probably got uh, around about 150 kilos out of the car. Right. It's down to 14, uh, 40 now. Oh, that's um, that's still like a, which is still, yeah, it's still quite heavy. But the way it moves on track, like, because uh, there's a few clips of you racing, what, uh, radicals? Yeah. Eat, like overtaking a <laughs> radical. <laughs> <laughs> on the Nürburgring, okay, I yeah. know the top speed are not the best on the radicals, but like... Yeah, that's probably one of my, my you know, sort of more uh, popular videos, is the uh, the radical at the Nürburgring. And it's also the fastest super, is it, on the Nürburgring? Yeah, so uh, back end of last year, we managed to get the, the fastest uh, lap of the Nürburgring that any super has done. Which is? Um, it's a 7 minute 18 bridge to gantry. Wow. Um, I couldn't do the full straight at that time, because we've got ye uh, double yellow flags uh, being waved, so I had to slow down. But a full lap on that one would be around sort of the mid 730s. Man, that is um, which isn't, isn't bad for a number. And what's uh, the year of the car? Uh, so it's a 1993. Um, it's, one, it's one of the original Mark IV Supras out of the factory. That. So the car does look very, very wild from the exterior. You've got like this decal on the bonnet. You've got this yeah. massive split. Oh, what's going on here then? Um, so I'll go, I'll go over the decal on the bonnet. That was uh, I was a big fan of uh, Burt Reynolds, um, all his films. Um, when he sadly passed away, I, I managed to get the decal put on. Uh, it was a little more a little bit of a dare, but I quite it's grown on me. I quite like yeah. it. Um, the uh, canards and the splitter is more for giving the, the front of the car some downforce. Because um, after I put the rear wing on, it, I found that the front was un under steering quite a lot. Okay. So the front just pulls the car, the front of the, 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 uh, yeah. the splitter. It, it works really well for. Um, it was actually a prototype I made out of oh, plywood. It, yeah? yeah. so it's all it's all homemade. Um, bolts on underneath the car, and it, it comes off within you know sort of a few minutes. Four bolts, and you can take it off for normal road use. Right. Um, the other thing I've done is uh, to get some extra cooling to the radiator. He's cut the the grill out, which right. is a little bit of a hairy moment with the uh, angle grinder <laughs> but uh, I think that kind of sets the front off as well there's not too many supers got that just behind the the hole in the headlight is the uh, the, the main air filter right. so that ensures we've got some um, you know uh, fresh cold air going through into the engine bay and there's also uh, we'll have a look in a second it's sort of blanked off um, the filters in its own little box right so again that keeps heat keeps from the engine yeah, uh, yeah. out of the filter so um, you say the engine's fully built? Um, yeah, so it's uh, fully forged, um, ARP hardware throughout. Um, Cyvex ECU as well, you mentioned? Yeah, we're running the Cyvex ECU, which is linked into all the sensors. So we've got oil pressure monitoring, fuel pressure monitoring, uh, and all the safety is switched on as well. And what fuel do you run it um, on, just standard pump fuel? Yeah, standard, either um, Shell V power or the uh, the momentum and um, the Cyvex you've got like a button hooked up so you can change your boost levels. So that, like... That's right. Yes, yeah, so I've got a button on the steering wheel. So um, whatever the cal switch is set to, 
that's sort of like the base, um, the, the base boost. When I press the button, that'll take me up to whatever the um, the cal switch is set to. So, it, you know, it can go from from 500 horsepower, which is the lowest setting, and then press the button can go to 700 horsepower just and, on, on the press of a button. And this happens in a second, like instant, or pretty much in, instantaneous. Wow, so that's uh, like a real nose switch. button you got, isn't it? That's it, yeah. And it's uh, <laughs> you know you can use it all the time, you know, everyday use really. So you can just drive around in 500 brake motor, car pops up, boom, press the button. Press the button and, and off you go, yeah. <laughs> so I'll use it as like a, an overtake button. Okay. So yeah, is so um, 700 right. the limit of the car? Like, can it do more? Because some of these do silly power, don't they? Yeah, I mean, basically, the, we built the engine to um, to withstand a at least a thousand. So the engine's all ready for a thousand. Um, I just need to put a slightly bigger turbo on um, and probably upgrade the injectors as well, just to get more fuel in there. So this is running 700 for jokes, then, really? Like, there's 700 no is, is a me. conservative, really, yeah. um, figure for this, you know, this kind of built engine. Mm. So what um, have we done with um, suspension and wheels and braking? Because this car is highlighted. Yeah. It's a track car, isn't it? It is basically a track car. I'd, obviously, I do use it on the road, uh, and I do drive it to and from tracks, sort of the more local ones. Uh, the suspension I've just upgraded to the Nitron R1. Okay. Um, which is, you know, sort of fully adjustable, 30 clicks on the settings. Um, I've gone through three sets of springs trying to get it roughly where I want, and I think it's, a, it's about right now. Right. So uh, what's that for the for the balance of road use and track, or is that just yeah, just track? got more more sort of track focus now. I yeah. mean, it, it is quite firm on the road, which you, you'll see on the video later on. Yeah. Um, but as I say, the suspension is just so you can sort of turn it turn it down a little bit, so it's it's more you know pliable on the road. Um, yeah. The only thing I did when I was researching nitro is just maintenance. Are they like high maintenance suspension? Or? They, they are. F they can be fairly high maintenance. Yeah. Right. In terms of servicing, they recommend servicing every, you know, sort of uh, ten thousand miles or so. But would you say that's the secret uh, to this car, the suspension? Because this car really does move like witchcraft. Guys, yeah. I'm going to leave all the <laughs> links at the bottom of this video. Check out what this car can do on track. It's unbelievable. Nice right? one. And you're saying so you've stripped uh, 150 kilos? Yeah, we've got about 150 kilo. All the interiors. There's no back seats. Um, so it's, it's just a roll cage, bucket seats and harnesses, yeah. and that's it really. And Strict. then uh, wheels and braking? Um, so the, the wheels, the more sort of road wheels, I've got the uh, BBS LMs right. um, running the Toyo R888 tyre. Okay, um, that's your road uh, tyre, That's yeah. kind of my road setup. Yeah. yeah. Track setup, I've got some Advan wheels, um, and I use either you know, some different uh, slicks, which we get off the touring car companies or again some semi-slicks depending on what the conditions are so that's another big thing isn't it it's the tires right yeah you've, you've got to have the you know the correct tires for the um for the for the uh, situation really so what's it like on the road with the toyo triple eight r's um it, it's 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 not too bad on the road Get um, down first second or? S s first gear it, you know it struggles with traction mm. uh, obviously because there's no traction control being set up okay it's, it's all you know all under the right foot not even from a factory these have traction or um, they do have a, a fairly basic traction system, but it doesn't work fantastically. So you've got uh, like the Cyvex does something, doesn't it? Yeah, the Cyvex can in. have traction, but I haven't uh, bothered setting that up yet. Okay. Maybe in the future when my reaction slow down. <laughs> um, and you bring your son as well, because he's handy behind the wheel. He's like getting into it as well. Yeah, he, uh, he loves a bit of driving. Yeah, Simulate Alex loves the driving on the Sims. Um, yeah. Had a few little goes in the car as well, but uh, obviously you know not too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think he'll he'll come on really well. Got some Brembos on before, uh, which were, you know, they were okay. Um, had a few years using those, uh, but I've just switched over to the AP6 pots, oh, um, wow. using all the uh, again uh, British touring car hardware, so it's like discs, pads. Um, and I've got a, a good supplier for, for all that kit as well. So you've basically got touring so. car brakes on your car? Touring car brakes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The rears yeah. are sort of fairly standard, but we've got race pads in, uh, braided uh, lines, uh, race fluid as well. What about exhaust? Yeah, the exhaust is um, it's a fairly fairly um, basic exhaust, so it's got, it's, there's no cats on, fully, fully decat, uh, stainless, and the exhaust is uh, a Tanaib medallion. Um, the reason I've got that exhaust is because uh, I take it on track quite a lot. It, it's a fairly quiet exhaust. Yeah. Um, obviously, we have to fit within the noise regulations yeah. uh, on track days. Um, last thing you want is to turn up and, and uh, not be able to get on. And then you've got the big wing as well. So this is obviously active. This is actually yeah. The wing is um, is 
probably one of the for the, for, certainly for handling he's he's a, a very good modification mm. um, you can really feel the back of the car being pushed down into the ground um, we've we've worked it out it generates at least over a hundred kilograms probably more like 150 um, of downforce you know sort of between 80 and 100 miles an hour so uh, it's not there for show is it no the wing definitely does a job there mm. um, no roll cage or anything or yeah it's got a it's got a, um, a bolt-in roll cage right. uh, it's a Cusco if I remember rightly Cusco roll cage um, is it a full cage or yeah it's a full cage it's uh, got crossbars in the back um, mm. And, it, and again, that does stiffen the car up quite well. Seats are a Recaro um, Profi SPG, and we've got the uh, Takata harnesses. All right, Simon, should we get out? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it, man. Dead straight. And that just felt amazing, man. Like, 
that's just instant smiles. What's reliability been like? I know like it's a track car and stuff, but has there been a lot of things go wrong? Like, you know? Not, not really. I mean, I've, I've tried to do everything in the, in the correct order. So, you know, um, before I built the engine, it was running at 600 horsepower on a to totally built. standard engine. Yeah. And I've been running that engine for 10 years. Never, never opened the engine. Then I decided I want a little bit more power, so it's time to build the engine. Um, as I say, the gearbox, you know, they're known to be really, you know, bulletproof gearboxes. Most people think of these cars as, as, as a lot of people do use them for sort of drag racing. Yeah, well, that is, the, um, that is the image it's got though, isn't it? Yeah, the like paused, you know, straight line stuff. Yeah. But it's quite surprising, they, they, they do go around corners. I've always had Supras, I'm 42 now. and. 20 uh, years deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had um, five Supras now. And what, what sold you on the Supra? The films or? Were the films even out then? Or? No, I had, I had Supra uh, before the film came out. Yeah. <laughs> 